Welcome back to the video. Today we are talking about Psalms 34, 8. That's right, you see it. Psalm 34, 8. All right. Psalms 34, 8 says, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good and blesses the man who trusts in him. Oh, taste and see, huh? All right, let's try this grass out. I hope a dog ain't pee on it, though. Our question for you today is, do you trust in him? There is a dimension that we must go to, right, in terms of stepping out on faith to where we literally taste and see that God is good. You know, you can think about Peter when he stepped out of the boat. That was him. He was he was trusting in the Lord. He was tasting and seeing that the Lord was good. In other words, think about it. If you go to a restaurant, right, and somebody's been telling you, hey, listen, taste and see that the steak called XYZ is good. Like taste and see, right? You can't fully experience that until you step out on faith and you go into the restaurant and you sit down and the waiter comes to you and say, you know what, I, I want XYZ steak. Then you literally have to wait on it. It takes time to prepare, right? The Bible says, you know, well done, my good and faithful servant. In order, in order to get the words well done from your heavenly father, you have to do something well. You don't just want to do anything average in life, right? But we'll get to that in another video so when the steak comes out you literally bite it not bite it you cut it with your fork and then you taste and see that man this steak is good then guess what you can tell everybody else about it you uh, eventually will buy someone a gift card from there hey you should taste and see that this steak is good you need to go here and do it's the same way with the lord once you truly get in his word and you fully submit to him and you step out on faith you exp you get a different kind of experience with him it's one thing to read the word, but it's another thing to say, you know what? I'm going to step out on faith with this word. I have an experience for myself. And that's why uh, that's why you see people that are so passionate about the Lord because they're stepping out on. They're saying, listen, this thing is true. The, the Lord is exactly what he says he is. Listen, he is his word. This water bottle represents your word. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Taste. Okay. <laughs> yeah. This word is the same yesterday, today, and forever. It doesn't matter which day you see this video, right? God loves you. God is always with you. So listen, I challenge you today to step out on faith. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Don't just read the scripture, but actually step out on it. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. Be sure that you trust in him today, this week, always and forever, and know that God is always with you. He loves you so, so, so much. Listen, if you made it to the end of this video, I need you to do three things, all right? Not two, not one, not zero. Okay, first thing, hit that thumbs up button that lets us know you appreciate the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also hit the bell so you'll be notified of every single video that comes up and any type of alerts that we sent you. Last but not least, if you made it all the way to the end of this video, I want you to comment Psalms 34, 8, okay? Once again, that's Psalms 34, 8 that lets us know you made it to the end of the video. And remember, sometimes visually, you need to see it written out. You need to see Psalms 34, 8. Screenshot this, put it as your screensaver, put it as your lock screen on your phone, write it on a note card, whatever it takes for you to remember it. Because the more scripture you get in you, the more dangerous that you become. You may say, why is the scripture on his face? It's to help you. Right. I'm I'm personally a visual learner. That's how I learn. We love you all so much. Stay encouraged. I challenge you to write that in the comment section. Psalms 34, 8. We love you. We will see you in the very next video.